hi today we are going to show you the HRMS system that we have created in Salesforce the HRMS system basically used by the HR HR related activities you can all add HR all the HR related information in this system so here we are on the dashboard of the HRMS system the functionality you can see here is the first one is the leave employees birthdays interviews announcement holidays active projects and unsold tickets uh, there are also some other functionalities related to HR project and uh, other functionality that you can add from here so basically first of all there is an opening position opening position that means the position uh, that is currently open in your company uh, for hiring so you can uh, add a new position new open position here by clicking on new <coughs> uh, you have to fill all the information here and then click on save then uh, there is a candidates candidates uh, uh, who already uh, appeared in the interview uh, or supposed to be appear in interview you can add new candidate by click on new here you have to fill up the information about that candidate uh, for which position uh, he or she applied his skill set his work experience address and all then after comes uh, interviews interviews uh, <coughs> it's basically uh, the candidate who is uh, who already interviewed uh, you can add uh, uh, already inter interview candidate by clicking on new here you have to fill up the information like candidate business unit uh, means uh, he's in a with department like .NET, PHP, Android or business uh, interview date and the mode of interview like face to face telephoning or something like that and then it's come to the reason <coughs> reasons uh, that's uh, suppose uh, some interview uh, some interview has rejected the joining so reason for that we can add that by click on new the information and description the business unit business unit uh, that means the department like uh, there are various type of departments so the particular candidate is uh, in a with department that you can add by clicking on new here you have to fill up the information and then click on sub then after the department here uh, you can uh, you can see that how many departments are there and you can uh, also add new department tab like a department name department code which business unit when it started its description address, address and all then after we can switch on to the announcement announcement means uh, suppose uh, there is to be any announcement today or uh, in a particular day that you can uh, see here you can add any new announcement on any particular date by click on new you have to fill up the information then uh, violation types here you can add a new violation type or you can see the existing violation type here you have to fill up the information like violation type and description there are some more functionalities like exit type exit type that means uh, when uh, 
some employees is uh, resigning so uh, at that time the HR will conduct an exit interview so and the reason for the exit and that uh, all we can add by click on new here we can exit type name and, and description then comes uh, asset categories and asset that you can add by clicking on new here here you have to fill up the information then after comes the trips the trips uh, some sometimes companies are scheduling uh, tours or trips uh, for the employees so that you can uh, uh, add over here or you can also see the existing trips that already planned or previously held trip also uh, that you can also see here the new trip you can add by clicking on you here you have to fill up the information like trip name from uh, start date end date and description then after comes is the expenses like uh, uh, particular monthly expenses or weekly expenses the company is bearing that you can add by uh, click on new here here you have to fill up the information uh, about that expenses then after comes the leaves leaves uh, like uh, who who is on leave today we can uh, we can see it here or who have applied for leave we can add a new leave by click on new <coughs> here you have to fill up the information like uh, starting day of the leave employee name ending day who is responsible to approve this leave reporting to whom leave type like sick leave casual leave quarterly leave half casual leave house shift leave maternity leave so these are the type of leave then appraisal every company has uh, some appraisal cycle uh, that is vary from company to company so you can add uh, the new appraisal by clicking on new and, uh, appraisal name that is for which employee appraisal mode department business unit appraisal status on which date then there is a holidays it will show that uh, how many holidays are there in uh, in a particular month or in a particular week we can you can add new holidays by click on new like here you can add a new holiday on which date and description then it's come to the clients so which uh, here you can see the currently active clients and uh, you can also add a new client here by filling up the information like client name or, or his, uh, he or she is from uh, which organization that organization name is the contact information and all his address you have to fill up this information then it's come to the project task project task means uh, the how many projects is currently running and uh, which task is uh, uh, pending or that you can see over here you can add new project task by click on new here you have to fill up the information task name project client estimated time priority who will going to responsible for this project and all then it's come to the employee 
employee means how many employees are currently there in your company that you can see here or and you can add a new employee by click on new when somebody is joining to your company at that time you can add add him or her by click on new here you have to fill all the information so by this way you can add new employee in HRMS system then it comes to the interview rounds like uh, <coughs> uh, the interview are coming for the first round of the interview or uh, he or she is coming for the second round or the final round or HR round for which round he is coming that you can see over here and you can add new by clicking on new here you have to fill up, up the all the information like which round round name like uh, there is aptitude round or technical round or HR round or whatever it is that you have to fill up here interview date and timing candidate who is the name of candidate is the current salary expected salary is total work experience and result status whether he is selected for further rounds or for final selection then there is a leave configuration here you can add a new leave with the employee can add new leave from here here you have to fill up the, all the information then it's come to the projects projects means uh, currently how many projects are going on in the company and when some new projects is arrived at the time you can add it by click on new and you can you have to fill all the information and by this way you can add a new projects and you can also edit the existing one click on any projects here you can see all the details regarding a particular project to, that you can also add it by click on edit okay so this way you can add and edit the project and the last and the final is like a ticket generation ticket generation for a particular task that uh, which ticket is assigned to whom that you can see over here and you can assign new tickets by click on new here you have to fill up this information like ticket name assigned to product name business unit severity biz department category organization name contact name status and this is all the information that you have to fill so basically this is the overview of the hrms system hope you all liked it thank you